What's up everyone, MK Tom Brady here, and in this video I want to talk about what does the future of MK11 hold? Like, what is the future of this game? Now, I know a lot of people are probably like, well Tom, there's no future, we already know about the next title in the works, the news about a Marvel title, and it doesn't matter if it's a Marvel title or a DC title or an MK title or some form of crossover between two or all three. It's not going to be here for a while. Like anyone that thinks we're going to get this game soon, that's just not the case. It's probably at least a year and a half, could be as long as two years before we get a release of whatever that title is. So what happens to MK11 in that time period? Like what do they do nothing do they stay radio silent for a year and then boom here's an announcement of the next title and mk11 stays the way it is if that happens i'll cross that bridge when we come to it i'm gonna hold out hope because the truth is you know outside of mk9 nrs games get their major updates in the second year of the game's life it's always been that way and there was no second year i mean a second year in theory passed, but the entire planet, including the studio, was shut down. The studio was shut down for literally 12 straight months, just about. So they really couldn't do anything at all. So I do think that they're going to come back and do something for the game. I would expect to hear something maybe mid-June to late June. And it could, it could be maybe as late as mid to late July. So sometime in that mid to late June to mid to late July window, I think we're going to hear at least about what they're going to be doing to the game. Now, the question is, what are they going to do to the game? Here's what, I, here's what I believe. I think that it's going to be such a drastic change that it's going to be pretty much like the game is getting remade. Like the, normally a remake where they take an older game and remake it and change a lot about the game, that's an older game. I think they're going to remake MK11 while it's still the current game. That tells you how much I think they're going to change the game. Uh, I, I think they're going to do at least five DLC characters. I don't think it stops there. I really do believe that, you know... I think they looked at the game when it came out and a lot of stuff was kind of universal. How meter works, the wake up system, you know, fatal blows, break. Oh, so much of the game is universal and I think they did want to tailor things to more an individual basis with the characters and kind of make customs playable more than just it is now where they just pretty much took the switch and enabled it. I think they wanted to do a lot of things, but they wanted to kind of wait and see how the game was playing out before they made something drastic. Of course, after the pro series ended, and they probably would say, okay, let's get to work on X, Y, and Z. Unfortunately, pandemic hit, nothing got done. The changes that I think are going to happen are, I do believe they want as many moves as playable, as possible playable. So because of that, I think they're going to add more moves by default. So I think characters will get moves added to their default move list. Uh, I also do believe that they're going to extend the slotting from three to four as much as five i don't know if it'll be that high but i don't think it'll be any higher than five but it could be as much as five to again allow more moves that are selectable moves that are deemed banned as meaning imbalanced or kind of buggy uh, i think that they will make those moves function better or balance them out and make them allowed moves that are useless or considered useless because of slotting or you can't fit it in because it's not default or the move just is very underwhelming i think all that gets addressed this would mean that the characters are going to play like all new characters like like what game is this right like a total overhaul on that and i also think they will address fatal blow breakaway wake up system all that stuff so i think massive changes are going to be coming you know i i used to keep like a, a fire and brimstone approach on the game but really it's more um I used to be really positive on the game when it came out and then soured on it quite a bit. And I used to, when Ultimate got announced, I thought this was the changes we wanted. And then I guess I just didn't put two and two together. Like, hey, you know, it's just, just going to flip a switch. I had too high expectations on what they were going to do for customs. And they just flipped the switch and, yeah, basically banned moves and 
allowed other moves. I think I might have gone too far in my approach because, look, I've been there before in the studio when they work on games as a tester. I know how hard they work, and I've used terms such as incompetence and lazy, and I know that's not the case with them there. But I do get a little fed up and fired up because it's more arguing with the other side of the community that says, oh, the game is fine, you know, you're just a hater or whatever. And I get fired up because I'm like, is NRS listening to these guys who are just saying this, that, or the other? So I'm a little more over the top with it. And I'm dialing that back here because I do have confidence here. I do know that the pandemic was a huge reason for this. Um, and I do think that they're going to make a lot of changes. Look, I know that there are some people out there who enjoy the game. But two things can be true. I'm, I'm not trying to, you know, hate on your game here because I love Mortal Kombat. I've played it since day one back in 1992. And I've played all of them. And this is the first one that I've re ever really felt this way about. And even if you're someone who enjoys the game, two things can be true. Even you know it needs help. Like, e even though you enjoy the game and I'm glad you find enjoyment in it, but two things can be true. You can enjoy it and you know it needs help. And the game, it, it really does. And I truly believe that it's not done and it is going to get the help that it that we all hope it's going to get. And I think it's going to breathe new life into the game and that the game will be like almost a new title. And I think that'll keep this scene going up into, up until we find out whatever the next game is that they're actually working on. But let me know what you guys think in the comments. And I'm always curious to hear from all of you. Thanks so much for watching. I appreciate all the support and all the love you guys show me. And as always, stay tuned for more content.